Dude, what are you having like your wallet? Like, do you have anything in there with your name? I, on I just like social so security I was, card. I was dating this guy and he was kind of crazy, and he yeah. ended up throwing like my purse like into the dam. We're down there like I don't have anything. Meet Dallas Ryan, who got pulled over by Officer Thummon on August twenty first, twenty twenty one, for running a red light. But as soon as the traffic stop started, this young woman refused to cooperate with the officers, doing something incredibly foolish. Hello. Hi. My name's Officer Thuman. The reason I stopped you was because you didn't uh, stop with that red light and continue to the intersection. Really? So you failed to yield. So you pulled out, and yeah. uh, we still had a green light for westbound traffic. Okay. Did you notice that when you hit the brakes? No? Okay. Where are you coming from today? Oh. Okay. All right, headed to... Huh? Where are you headed to? Um, to my house. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? I don't. You don't have... Do you have anything with your picture on it? No. Okay. Do you have any like, debit card or credit card? I'm assuming you paid somehow with for that. Yeah, I paid cash. Okay. Do you have a receipt for that then? Um, no, that was just my brand name. Okay. No, I see name. that. I see that. You don't have anything with your name on it though. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your last name? Um, M A L A K O W S K Y, and Taylor is first name. Taylor. Okay. Yep. Throughout the encounter. Dallas lied about her identity and refused to provide any physical form of identification. Even after the officer ran a check on the name she provided, Dallas stuck to the false identity she initially gave. Hi. Hi, any luck with that? No, he said he doesn't have insurance. Huh? Okay. Would you be willing to step out of the vehicle for me yeah, and talk uh, to me? Yeah, no okay. problem. Okay. So, I'm trying to... Put the yeah. pieces together here, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, first of all, do you have any weapons on you that I should be wearing? Would you allow me just to pat you down, make yeah, sure you don't have any weapons on you? Okay. No knives or anything nope. like that? Okay. Nope. Okay. So, why don't we step back right here right. so we're not in the middle of the road? Right. Okay. So, just be honest with me, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that you are who you, who you say you are. Why? The, the photo that I looked at doesn't look like it to you. Yeah, yeah. It was issued in 2020. 2020. It also doesn't come back to a Rhinelander address like you had said. It comes back to a different address. All right. Well, I park falls. Correct. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, I moved around. I mean, okay. I moved around. Enough. So, are you who you are? I yeah, mean, yeah. just to be yeah. straight with yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it just looked different than what okay. the... I've dyed my hair and stuff since then. Okay, you so have. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, Okay, and that's why I'm asking these these yeah. additional questions. Okay. okay. Is there anything that you can provide to me to, to, to show me that who you are? I have a lot of my stuff in Rhinelander still. Okay. Like, you don't I, have, like, a debit card, like, a food card? I've been pretty broke right now. I just came here because I'm trying to find a better job. Okay. What do you have in, like, your wallet? Like, do you have anything in there with your name I on it? I just, like... Social so security I was, card? I was dating this guy, and he was kind of crazy, and okay. he ended up throwing, like, my purse, like, into the dam. Okay. We are down there, like, gotcha. I don't have anything. Okay. What? Do you know your social security number? Not off the top of my head. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. I really... All the while, Officer Thummond noticed Dallas visibly shaking and unable to maintain consistent eye contact with him. As a result, he became suspicious and requested another officer and a K-9 unit to conduct a search, which led to Dallas being exposed. Is that front or back? What's that? Front or back door? Front passenger door. Okay, thank you. Hey ma'am, would you be willing to step out of the vehicle for me again? Okay, thank you. Let's step back over here so we're out of traffic okay. again. Okay. So, um, the reason I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle is and I did alert to the presence of a narcotic or illegal okay. substance in the vehicle. Um, okay. Let's step over here so I don't want to get hit by a car. Um, is there anything in the vehicle that we should be aware of? Okay. Any needles or anything that's going to poke us while we're... Shouldn't be. Okay, so we're going to be conducting a search, okay? Um, it's not my car. Oh, I understand that. So why don't we step back to the front of my vehicle, okay? Okay. okay. Even when confronted about the drugs in her car, Dallas persisted in lying, believing she could deceive the officers. However, the officer continued to question Dallas, eventually coaxing her into confessing. Erica, why, why didn't you tell me your name at first? Taylor. So who's Erica that's on there? Um, I don't know. I think that's like my friend Doug. Girlfriend. Friend. Erica who? Um, Bowman. Bowman, okay. Think... And you're confident that when we're doing our search, we're not going to find an ID sure. or anything else that with your name on it? Like I've asked for four times? Um, yeah, I'm actually lying. Okay, so who are you? Um, it's not my first day out here. Dallas. Okay, what's your last name? Brand. Okay. Why didn't you want to give me that information in the first place? 
Okay. So, is there any other reason why you didn't give me a... I have Peel Hall and Rylander. Okay. Although Dallas had opened up a bit, the officers still suspected she wasn't being entirely honest with them. They decided to search her car. Yeah, she has about $500 cash. So, I think we can justify taking that with this. Yeah, intent with those baggies too. Are they individually packaged? There's a handful that are individually packaged. But, here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 1, 2, 3, 60, 80, 100. She's got $500 here. Soon after, Dallas was confronted again about the items found in her car, but she didn't seem ready to cooperate with the officers. So, feel free to have a cig, okay? Um, talk to me about you know, the half ounce of meth in there. And the needles, obviously, right? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm just, I'm on an automatic. Sorry, what? I'm just stepping an addict on and off for like my whole life. Okay. So, talk to me about the cash now. Just over $500 or so of cash. Um. And all the individual baggies. I mean, like that, I said, it's not my first out here. I'm no, I know, I know, I know. No, it's like, I'm not, I don't like sell drugs like that. Okay. I really don't. Why do you have a whole baggie, small individual baggies? Yeah, it's, it's not even like that. And a scale. Looks, I'm pretty sure there's a scale in there, too. I just want to make sure I'm not even ripped off when I buy stuff, you know? And so, bags, you can't buy bags individually, so I just buy one, you know, in a bottle of like, just get them a touch out, you know? So are you willing to talk to me about where you got that from? Yeah. Okay. Are you willing to talk to anyone about that at some point? Okay. So is there anything else we should be looking for in the vehicle then? Because no, I want to be able to it. document that you're that's cooperative with me and honest, right? Yeah, yeah that's all it. I can Good? Okay. You should place your hand behind your back then, okay? So I'm gonna take this bracelet off for now, okay? Yeah. I'll make sure it goes in your belongings though. Alright. You think my first two other cars? Yep, anything else that you'd like to be in your belongings? Dallas was eventually arrested and later cited for running the red light. She was subsequently charged with possession of methamphetamine, possession of scheduled drugs, possession of drug paraphernalia, and unauthorized use of identification. And why you're saying I'm not who I am? Because we just pulled up pictures and you're definitely not the person in those pictures. How am I not? Meet Amy Reps, who on May 7, 2021, was driving the wrong way down a one-way street in La Crosse, Wisconsin, when she was pulled over by an officer. As soon as the officer approached Amy in a parking lot, a traffic stop ensued. What's your name? Tracy Corcoran. High school Tracy. T-R-A-C-Y. Okay. What high school last name? C-O-R-C-A-N. Okay, where do you live? I live in Winona. What's the address? That's what it says on your driver's license right now? Yes. So your ID is out of Minnesota? Yes. Truck's registered to the boyfriend. Truck's registered to Calvin Richards, and he has full coverage on it, like he just bought it. And he actually forwarded me the insurance on it, but... Tracy, you ever live in Wisconsin? Yes. Okay, what's your middle note? What's your full middle? Jean. During the encounter, Amy lied about her identity and then refused to provide any other form of identification. It's suspicious that someone going to an unfamiliar area had no means of identification or proof of vehicle ownership. Because of the false information Amy provided, the officer had difficulty running a check on her name and soon confronted her again. How do I spell your last name? Corcoran. C-O-R. Yep. Cork. Corin. Are you saying, are you, are, do you have any other, anything I else on you? On you don't have a debit card, credit card? Nothing. Nothing. I'm so sorry. I literally Who's my, Whose stuff is over there? This is my... This is my sister. This is my sister, Michelle. Oh. Alright, so, since you didn't come back last time, is there anything you want to tell me before I go back? No. I literally dropped my phone in the toilet. I was so nervous because I'm not from around here and I took a wrong turn. Well, I didn't actually even take a wrong turn. She's like, oh my god, that's well, a, do not that's enter. a one way. Go that way. Do not enter. I am not right. from around here. Stay in the vehicle. I'm going to continue to figure it out. 
Okay, okay. Name. so what's your maiden name? Mueller, M U E L L E R. Tracy Jean Mueller. Okay, once again, before I have to bring another officer over here, is there anything that you want to tell me? I never have this much trouble in figuring out who never, somebody is unless they're lying to me. I've never done like, anything wrong. We're just trying I... to find the Super 8. So you, you would still have a uh, driver's license on file, and I can't yes. find one out of Minnesota or Wisconsin. Correct. Is you, it... And you should have one in both states. Yes. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i a Minnesota resident, so yes. Married in 2018, that should be updated by now. Well, that's not in our system. All right, I'm going to try one last time, but otherwise... Even though it was clear she was lying, Amy stubbornly stuck to the fake name she had given, leading the officer to call for backup. Together, they approached Amy. Okay, so, pull up Facebook. You, you have a picture of her from April. So who are you? I am Tracy Corcoran. No, and if you keep lying, we're going to pull you out of the car and we're going to take you to jail, okay? And then they'll just sit there until they figure out who you are. What I I don't understand why... You're saying I'm not who I am. Because we just pulled up pictures, and you're definitely not the person in those pictures. How am I not? Can you just start being truthful with us and let us know what's going on? We got the part that you're Amy. Now we just got to figure out the rest of it. My name is Amy Reps. Okay. I do not have a valid driver's license. And you went through all this to, to possibly go to jail? No. Are you revoked I'm, or what? Because I'm scared. I'm revoked. Because I'm scared. So you just carry this on this whole time? Do you got your ID on you? I do not. I don't. I actually do not have any ID on me whatsoever. Tracy is my sister. Michelle is also my sister. I apologize. What's your name? Perfusely. Amy Reps. How do you spell that? This is all over because you're revoked. Because I'm revoked in Wisconsin. Okay. Have you been drinking too or no? No, I have not. You haven't been drinking at all. No. I didn't realize that that was a it turned into a one-way and I immediately realized it and turned in here and he right here. We'll run this one, see what we come up with. It's worth noting that it's illegal to operate a vehicle after your license has been revoked. However, not only was Amy driving without a license, but officers later discovered she had an outstanding warrant out of Buffalo County for operating after revocation. All right, so you've got a uh, warrant for your arrest for failure to appear for operating after revocation. Seriously? Yeah. I so. was not aware of that at all. Yep, it came out yesterday. It came out yesterday. Five six. Oh my Seriously? lord. Yep. How? When was I supposed to be notified of that? That's up to Buffalo County. That's not our county. Awesome. So. Buffalo County is actually letting us release you on a signature bond for that. Okay, so what? But I can what? release you on a signature bond for our county also. So what do I need to do? So I need to write up some signature bonds, and then you're going to be released on those. Okay. You got a valid driver's license. Yeah. Yes. Or whoever you guys need to get to drive. Yes. So I'm going to go back and do my paperwork. Yeah, I'll stay in the not, vehicle. How do they not tell me that I have a warrant out for my arrest? Maybe. You probably had a court date that you're supposed to show up to, and you didn't show up. That's that's pretty Sometimes much the gist of it. Sometimes when you get a ticket, it's like automatically on the bottom of the ticket, yeah. like an automatic. For operating after, right? after revocation, it's a mandatory that you have to show up for it. So when you got got it in trouble last time, it would have said on there that it was mandatory that you show up on a certain date. You didn't show up. Amy was eventually charged with operating after revocation, obstruction, and for the Buffalo County warrant. Additionally, she was cited for driving against traffic on a one-way street. 